At Fort Stewart, Georgia, a battalion of the 3rd Infantry Division formally accepted the most recent M2A4. The M2A4 Bradley will ensure that the platform maintains combat relevance now and for decades to come, according to BGEN Glenn Dean, U.S. Army Program Executive Officer, Ground Combat Systems. We'll be able to integrate new technologies because it has enhanced mobility and power generation, he added. And what is packed with the newly upgraded M2 Bradley IFV? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks, from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced MBTs at present. So stay with us till the end of this video, so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's dive in. In 2018, BAE Systems, the original designer, was awarded a $347 million contract to begin work on the M2A4 project. In June 2020, operational testing got underway. The A4 features improvements that were originally included in two earlier ECPs, engineering change proposals, that enhanced the generator and power distribution system and improved the suspension. Along with this, the A4 gains a 675 horsepower engine that is paired with a new transmission with built-in power management. In order to account for the added weight of previous changes, BAE has added a lighter track, new shock absorbers, a redesigned suspension support system, and higher capacity torsion bars. More significantly, the more extensive battlefield vehicle electronics and communication systems have been completely replaced by cutting-edge digital systems, providing for increased situational awareness, network conductivity, and enhanced communications. There has been a delay in implementing the Iron Fist Active Protection System. The replacement of the present 25mm Bushmaster with a 30mm Bushmaster as part of plans for an additional M2A5 upgrade were shelved in 2019. We'll have to wait and watch if the Ukrainian conflict's combat developments lead to a review of that. Looking back, let's take a look at how powerful the Bradley Fighting Vehicle System. Bradley Armored Fighting Vehicles, including the M2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the M3 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, are produced by BAE Systems Land and Armaments, previously United Defense. The U.S. and Saudi Arabian military use the vehicle in combat. There have been 6,720 vehicles of both types fielded since 1981. The M2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle is used to move men onto the battlefield, cover troops who are not mounted with fire, and to engage and destroy opposing tanks and combat vehicles. Six fully equipped infantrymen are transported in the M2 together with a commander, gunner, and driver. With three crew members and two scouts, the M3 executes scout missions. Improvements based on Gulf War operating experience are part of the U.S. Army's A3 Bradley upgrading program. In November 1998, the first M2A3 M3A3 Bradley low-rate initial production model was delivered and it went into service in April 2000. May 2001 saw the system receive permission to operate at full rate. In February 2005, a contract was placed for the conversion of 450 more vehicles to A3 standard. In addition to the 120 vehicles, 80 M2A3, 29 M3A3, and 11 A3 B-Fist fire support that were already ordered for the upgrade. By October 2010, more than 3,390 automobiles had received upgrades. A $91 million contract for the replacement of the outdated and harmed equipment in the 552 Bradley vehicles used by the U.S. Army was given to BAE Systems in October 2010. In order to buy long lead components for 247 Bradley Operation Desert Storm Situational Awareness Vehicle Conversion Kits, the U.S. Army issued a $250 million contract in November 2010. The conversion of Bradley ODS vehicles to the Bradley ODS SA configuration required the use of 202 kits in total, and the remaining kits will be kept on hand for future vehicle conversions. In October 2011, a second $270 million contract was given for the conversion of 245 ODS SA vehicles. In February 2011, BAE Systems was awarded a $47 million contract to upgrade 95 Bradley vehicles with modern hardware and technologies. A follow-up deal for 96 vehicles, 
57M2A3, 16A3B fist, and 22A2 ODS B fist, and 610 vehicles, 490A3 and 120A2 ODS, granted in November and August respectively, was signed in 2006. Additional 172 vehicles, 108A2, 60A3 and 4B fist were contracted in July 2007. There is a demand for 2,545 modernized Bradley A3 vehicles from the U.S. Army. Both the Commander's Independent Thermal Viewer CITV, from Raytheon and the Enhanced Bradley Acquisition System IBAS, from the tow missile from DRS Technologies use second-generation thermal imagers derived from the U.S. Army's Horizontal Technology Project. The 480x4 Scanning Infrared Focal Plane Array serves as the foundation for the imagers. Day TV and direct view optics, automatic dual target tracking, an iSafe laser rangefinder, and a two axis stabilized head mirror are other features of the IBAS. A 320x240 uncooled ferroelectric scanning array is used in the thermal imaging driver's vision enhancer, ANVIS 5, from DRS Technologies. Installing a combat identification system. A data bus with central processors and digital information displays for the commander, driver, and squad leader are part of the electronic system. In accordance with the deal signed in January 2008, BAE Systems provided 952 Bradley Urban Survivability Kits. The BUSC is equipped with a powerful handheld directional spotlight, a lightweight non-conductive dome tent structure to shield the crew and the turret from low-hanging power lines and sight protection for the turret external optics made of a mesh enclosed in a steel frame. The M2 infantry fighting and M3 cavalry fighting vehicles are part of the Bradley vehicle system. For the BUSC, extra armor to fend off the impact of mines and improvised explosive devices is being developed, as well as a commander's light automatic weapon, a 5.56 mm light machine gun integrated with the A3 fire control system and fired under armor. For 1,691 Bradley vehicles, Syracuse Research Corporation is providing Crew-2 electronic warfare equipment. To stop roadside bombs from going off, Crew-2 is made to jam remotely operated IEDs. Advanced survivability seats and fire detection suppression systems were also included in contracts for BUSC that were placed in October 2008. A 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain cannon manufactured by ATK Ammunition Systems, formerly Boeing Ordnance, serves as the primary weapon. A single-barrel integrated dual-feed system and remote feed selection are features of the M242. The tow BGM-71 anti-tank missile system from Raytheon is installed on the M2 Bradley. On the left side of the turret is the twin-tube tow launcher. Using an optical sight which picks up the infrared signal from the back of the missile while it is in flight, the target is tracked. Two spools in the back of the missile disperse a double-wire command link between the missile and the gunner. Through the command connection, the launcher communicates flight correction information to the missile's guidance system. The tow missile has a 3.75-kilometer range. Two M257 smoke grenade dischargers, each holding four smoke grenades, are mounted to the Bradley. It also has a device for producing engine smoke. The M2 Bradley's hull is made of laminated armor that is separated between sheets of welded aluminum. The M2A2 and M3A2 Bradley's also have applique steel armor that may be upgraded with extra passive or explosive reactive armor. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comments space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos.